coronavirus. I do not know what time it is. I've been locked inside my house for a week and now I'm outside just walking about this empty street in Paisley. Kind of. I'm just outside getting some space for my boyfriend. I'm just walking around the streets taking photos because there's a lot of people taking photos like photos of empty streets and signs of shops saying they're closed. Good for green screen. Um, yeah, just walking around listening to some music too. Today's a Sunday. I'm used to Paisley being quiet. This is what it's like sometimes. Anyway, enjoy my photos until I get back home. Bell's still working. <laughs> and before my battery dies. I'm in my bedroom right now, not to cosplay. That's just a lovely background. I mean, I am doing an online cosplay meetup later on, so you may see that. We're just playing games. Uh, earlier on, Brian came with food. The fridge is stacked. And we just finished watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is a new series on E4. Why I'm in my room, I just want to show you my rainbow. Right now, it may not look like I filmed a lot, but I've done a lot of, you know, filming and I've deleted the footage. And looking back at it, it looks like I'm not panicking, I just look like I haven't got enough words to say. And I'm trying to say words. I mean, you've seen a lot of footage of me being in my house. It's more safer to be in your house than outside, they say. So, yeah, you've seen a lot of footage of my house, so you may get to know my house. But it doesn't mean you'll get to know where I live. I mean, yeah, you can show clapping for NHS, but, but film it in a way people won't still know where you live. First things first, draw the main thing that help you to remember. Now, if it accidentally moves, I can put it back into place. Next, cut it. Now, I'm just gonna touch up the ends. If you need to use white, I'll show you how to do that later. If this is hard. the coronavirus. I'm having so much fun with my mini printer today. I'm printing out new characters for Ship It Rip It. I've just printed out two already. Barbie, Angelina Ballerina. Now if you don't know the game Ship It Rip It, it's basically you put two characters together and see if you meet a cute couple or not. I rip it up. But I have seen Barbie being a ballerina. Come on, Nutcracker, Barbie told down for princes, Swan Lake, we can keep on going. We're gonna print out something else. What character could it be? Here we go. Okay, ready? Ready for this? Okay. okay. All right. I better turn it on first. <laughs> okay. Has it turned on? Ready for this? Ready for this? Sorry about the brightness. It's not me. It's the sunshine outside that I'm never going to experience. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice sound. Look, it's Evie from Descendants. I just had the best cosplay meetup ever. I think it's like not the third one. We had nine people. It was so much fun. Oh, great, my battery's dying. Okay, I'll just eat and talk to you later. That's me finished eating. We had scrambled egg, bacon, and chips. Very nice. And we watched Doctor Who. Such a cliffhanger from under the line from Pierre Capaldi's. Year of being the doctor. So back to the cosplay meetup, it was so good. I was cosplaying as Uma, I was chatting to nine different people, didn't meet and didn't meet at Comic Con events. I don't know. <laughs> I, I tried to like tell them, I was like, can you please see what Comic Con events you've been to so we can recognize you? I recognize them all. Good talking to everybody, see how they were, play the game Shipper or Rip It. We had two ships only. We have shipped Hercules and Wonder Woman together. I know I'm the host, I plan everything, but I make sure it's not like me always like telling what to do. I'm letting everybody like interact and talk. Like if we just, you know, going to talking about Ghostbusters or going to talking about something off the topic, like literally just at the end, we talked about what happens if the superheroes were down on the earth during the quarantine, would they be alive or not? Superman? Yes, Batman, depends on his age. Wonder Woman, we fine. We talked about this. <laughs> the one thing I loved about this cosplay meetup this time was there was one cosplayer who was living alone during this. Living alone, you only have your thoughts to think about in yourself. And the cosplayer also said like, I've kind of been eating and some days kind of not been eating. And nobody's called me up and I felt alone. It, I think it was just good that that cosplayer came to the meeting so they can just like, 
hear more noises and hear more stuff and you know, I never cosplayer wasn't bored. <laughs> so yeah, I think it was, I think it was a good idea that that cosplayer joined us for that meetup, just to get away from anxiety and the thoughts of yourself. Hear other great people who you love and you may recognise. <laughs> that that's the good thing about the cosplay meetup. You have people there who relate to your situation. We're all having to stay indoors because it's coronavirus. We're all cosplay. We all love fandom trust. We're all here to play games for the hour until we get really annoyed with each other and we just drop out. <laughs> or stay in for the whole thing, just have some fun because we don't be home alone or be stuck in a house with somebody else. Good morning everybody scared of the coronavirus! Not a nice topic to talk about. Nothing to do with the coronavirus is not. Like I went to bed and I thought I was coughing a lot during the night. I was scared, really scared, like, well, you know. But I took some medicine and I'm fine now. So it's okay. Anyway, it's right now the evening and I've been video editing so much, not just on YMC's TikTok all about STEM, but I've been doing my Star Wars video because it's going to be May the 4th soon so I thought I'll like, let's do a Star Wars video for May the 4th. Since we're going to be stuck inside, I thought this would be a good surprise for all the Jedi fans and the cosplayers. But, but I realised something. I haven't used all the clips that I used for Capital Sci-Fi when I was there in February. So I'm going to take all the Capital Sci-Fi clips and put them into the Star Wars music video because like, you know what, they need to be used. There are scenes that have never been seen before and plus, and, and plus that's what I want. In my Star Wars video I want scenes that have never been seen before in vlogs, in my other video projects, in anything. That's what I want. Just, just pop. All Star Wars scenes in and all capital sci-fi scenes in from 2020. Well, actually, the Star Wars scenes are actually from Raycon Spring. Which was supposed to be on two days ago. It got cancelled. Like, every single of our events got cancelled. Anyway, I better get back to video editing. Happy Easter lockdown, everybody. I am up early in the morning. I am enjoying Happy Easter. I'm going to pop them up on every single flat door I can. Because, like... Some people can't celebrate Easter, like everybody would go to church or do Easter egg hunt. That's not happening this year. I mean, good luck if you can do an Easter egg hunt in your backyard, but you know, something it's, it's just gonna be hard to celebrate Easter. I don't know how you celebrated it, but some people want to go and get an Easter egg. I've got no chocolate in the house, so sadly, this is how I'm celebrating Easter. Join away an egg and writing. Happy Easter eight times. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, last night I slept well, no coughing, just cuddling my teddy bear. <laughs> so taking a hell every morning and night, that's what I'm doing right now. Getting into the routine of medical stuff. Uh, and everything is, I've started my peas. So if I'm emotional during vlogs, I blame my lady problems. <laughs> Uh, last time I had lady problems was like three years ago. I know this is stupid to talk about, but, but the reason for that is I've got this thing in my arm that stops me to like get pregnant, stop having periods, and it's gone off. Like I've had it for three years, it's gone off, it's finished. I need to get a new one. Sadly, all my appointments have been cancelled because it's not essential, you know? It's not important to get a new one. So I've just, I've just got to be careful. You just gotta be careful. Like everybody else needs to be careful, seriously. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> can't get the song in my head. Oh, right. So. This is me cheating while I'm drawing. Like, I can't draw Easter eggs. So I'm just drawing an Easter egg from my brightness tablet and just drawing over it. Just to wish everybody a happy, good lockdown Easter. <laughs> That's all the Easter egg cards hanged up. <laughs> Post it, really. This is a good time to also have a good excuse to walk because during the Easter weekend, today is Friday, it's going to be busy when people should be staying inside. Just have an indoor Easter egg hunt in your house or just eat some chocolate even if it's not an Easter egg hunt. Back in Inverness during Easter, I would help with the Easter egg hunt in this big huge back garden where all the kids will come and find these Easter eggs I've hidden. And what they have to do is find 10 eggs and get a big one at the end. That is the idea of the hunt. Sorry, there's actually no one here. I'm just checking like nobody's here. 
We can talk as loud as I want to. Right now I'm next to Paisley Canal. This is where the train comes to. And it comes every hour now. Not every half hour, but every hour now. I can also see a bench you're not allowed to sit on. That's sad. You must be a happy boy now. Watching the whole crossover. That's me just finished episode one of the DC crossover. But <laughs> we don't have episode two from Batwoman. Go wait till June for that. Uh, before I finish this vlog, I just want to finish with one quick story about about a panic attack that I had at a supermarket. I was in the queue and I wasn't happy. Waiting for 30 minutes, not just that, it was like, it was scary. You have to stay apart and Ryan thought I was too close so he yanked my bag and he, I just had to shout at him like, you know I'm scared of this, don't make me more scared. And we were silenced for the whole time. Then we got in the supermarket and seriously, hearing all the announcement of coronavirus and people just too close, even though even though there was security putting minimal people in the supermarket, I just didn't feel safe. When I got to the medical bit, I was like, you know what, I need to get out of here. I just need to get out of here. And Ryan was like, no, Dad, you can't. No, I need to go. I need to go. So I just gave him all my things I need, like paracetamol, more period pads. Then I left. And I just couldn't deal with being in a supermarket again. I literally had a panic attack in a supermarket. I'm not the only person who's had that. On the way home, I had to talk to Katie, my best friend, and I was just crying to her saying, I missed you. <laughs> I literally do miss her. And then I, I went to sleep with my teddy bear for like a whole hour and a half. I just couldn't. After that, I knew I had to care for myself. I had to go to an online Paisley Wednesday meetup, do a cosy meetup, and then care for myself by doing my nails. I know there's other people who have had panic attacks during this time, this very hard time. Just remember, you're not the only person during this hard time. One of my friends had a panic attack inside their local shopping centre and they just had to like run off because they didn't like the spots showing this is the line you have to be on. So, you know, parents are just doing shopping for them and it's just, you know, a hard time. So if you know someone's going through a hard time, check up on them. That's why I'm doing my own cosplay meetup, checking up on them and playing games. But yeah guys, this is the end of the vlog. I need to finish this so we can get into week four in the UK. And that means that we vlog for then. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up, comment below how you're doing guys. Did you go for the same experience with me or just have a different kind of panic attack but at the same time when it was like, you know, in this hard time. And remember, it's the memories to make us. So go there and make some good memories and not some bad memories. I just hope I survive. I'm taking my inhaler a lot. See ya! Stay cost positive!